Hey, what's up everybody? It's David McGill. Now, in this video, I wanna talk about your operating authority and the insurance requirement and how that process works and also how you can maximize your insurance time when you're applying for your authority. Now, what many of you already know is in order to get your operating authority, you have to complete your DOT application, you have to have insurance on file, and you have to um, complete a BOC3 filing. Now, what many of you may not know is there is a mandatory 21 day protest period in between the time that you first complete your application and the earliest time you'll be granted your operating authority. Now, I wanna take y'all back to when I got my operating authority. The same day that I completed the application, that was the same day that I paid my insurance down payment. And it took, from that day, it took 21 days before I was granted my operating authority. So, my insurance is due every 30 days. So, after I got my operating authority, I literally only had, you know, nine days of, you know, possibly, you know, running the truck to, you know, recoup any money before it was time to make the next insurance payment. And the, the problem with that is, you know, you're, you're, you're handcuffed for those 21 days. So every day that the DOT, that the government is, you know, just holding your application during that protest period, it's eaten away at your insurance days, your insurance coverage days. You're just basically just burning away. You, you couldn't operate the truck during that time. So you can't make any money. Now, I met a guy, um, like many of you know, um, I do client work, I do accounting and taxes for trucking businesses out there. And I had met a new client who had already had his operating authority. So we were talking and during our initial conversation, he told me that his operating authority was granted 10 days after he paid his insurance. So it, you know, that kind of, they gave me a thought where I'm like, okay, well, if, if the government gives you 21 days, if they're going to, if they're going to hold it, hold your, you know, application for 21 days, but we know that 10 days, you know, 10 days after you submit your insurance is when, you know, the DOT will recognize that you have it on file it kind of led me to believe that we could kind of play around with the dates a little bit in order to maximize how many days you were able to, um, how many days you would have in between the time that your DOT application is approved and the time that your first insurance payment is due. Now, let, let me use a calendar to try to explain what I'm saying, because it might be, might be a little confusing. Now, let's say on December 1st, you do your DOT application. The government, they're gonna hold you down on a, you know, a 21 day protest period. So these seven days, you're stuck. These seven days, you're stuck. And these seven days, you're stuck. So the earliest that you get your operating authority will be on the 22nd, or actually let's say the 23rd, because it'd be on a, on a weekday. Now, like me, if, if you're like me and you applied for your authority and paid your insurance all on the first day, your insurance, you just lost 21 days of insurance. Now, your next payment, your next insurance payment is down here. Then your operating authority was granted here on the 23rd. So you only, you're only able to run for seven or eight days your trucking business before you have your first insurance payment. So... I guess the thought that I had was, well, what if instead of doing the application 
and the insurance down payment on the same day, what if you waited until day 11 to do the insurance? Because by then, you know that your 10 days of insurance, like the 10 days that uh, it, it takes the, the DOT to recognize your insurance, and the 21st day that the DOT is going to hold your application in the protest period, those are going to coincide um, to where now your operating authority is granted on the 23rd, but your first insurance payment, instead of it being due here on the 30th, is actually due 30 days from when you made the payment, you know, which was the 11th. So you just gained, you know, 11 days of insurance coverage before you have to make your, you know, 11 additional days of insurance coverage before you have to make your first payment. Now, that was a thought that I had, and I was like, man, that, that makes sense that, you know, it should work out like that. You know, I talked to my insurance guy, and, you know, he didn't really want to commit. He wasn't sure, so he didn't really want to commit to that, you know, to that theory. So I tested it out with, you know, my next two, um, my next two trucking business clients who wanted me to set up their authority for them. So what we did was on, you know, let's say on Monday the 2nd, we did the DOT application. And then on Thursday the 12th, we did their insurance. Now, we know that the applicant, the DOT application is going to, it's going to take 21 days. And we know that the insurance is going to take 10 days. So now the, the last 10 days of the DOT application are going to overlap with the 10 days of the insurance. So that on the 24th, operating authority is granted. And you know, I tested out that hypothesis and lo and behold, it worked. So, you know, what was the, what's the benefit of that? Well, instead of losing, you know, 10 days of insurance to that holding period, you know, my clients, they were able to run for, you know, about 20, 20 days before their, you know, first insurance or sorry, second insurance payment was due instead of just losing it out to the DOT. Now, I know that might have been a little hard to follow in this video. Hopefully it made sense. Um, like I said, I'll give the disclaimer that, you know, I tried it twice and it worked, but I won't say that that's law, but you know, it worked like the theory. I had the theory and I tested the theory and it worked in both times that I tried it. Now, um, you guys can try it and let me know if it works for you. Um, you know, again, the, the whole point of it is, is to, you know, be able to run more days before your first insurance pay or second insurance payments due so that, you know, you're not just, you know, losing out on insurance days because of the DOT protest period while you're waiting on your operating authority to be granted. So hopefully that made sense to you guys out there. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you know you have any questions, go ahead and leave a question or a comment in the comment section of the video. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you know anybody who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Thanks again for watching.